Yeah, welcome. My name is Nelly Klein. I'm the marketing manager for Future of Automation. And with me is... Georg von Wichert, and I'm responsible for the research on autonomous systems in Siemens in Munich. So, before we start, we want to do a small demonstration. So, what you saw us do just now looks very easy, isn't it? For, I think for us humans, but for machines, it's very, it's technically very demanding. So, humans know from experience what to do when someone say, build a tower when you, and you stack one block on the other, but for machines to build something like that, like a tower, you have now to program the machine with code, isn't it? Yes, um, but, but we at Siemens have now developed a dual-armed robot prototype that you can later see over there um, that actually changes, it shows that it's going to change. Uh, we just uh, tell it, assemble a product like we just did with the uh, cubes, and then it will do this without us having it to program in all detail. Okay, you talked about the prototype, but what happens when um, a part slips around or isn't on the right place? Yeah. The robot has cameras, and as long as the part is in its field of view, it will find it, um, localize it again and, and adapt his complete activity, subsequent activity, to this new situation. Robot can even ha hand it over to uh, the other robot if it finds out that it cannot assemble it this way. And um, these robots share, completely independently share their tasks among themselves and seamlessly collaborate. You might be wondering how this works and the answer is, uh, with artificial intelligence. Our prototype analyzes the task and then uh, computes a solution and executes this. Yeah, of course, yeah. We heard a lot of our customers, we heard a lot, um, this is all good and well, but what's in for them with artificial intelligence? And we say a whole lot. Because um, with our prototypes, you you're enjoy the benefits um, of your automation right down to lot size one. That means in the future you will no longer um, have to program robots. In the future you will be able to um, give the instructions only about what to do, like to build this tower and know any longer about the how to build this. So this will, I think, I don't have to, um, to program the details. This will save a lot of time, of course, and a lot of costs. And, but how our smart prototypes work and how, it, how this prototype learn? Yeah, actually, the robot um, um, uh, computes or extracts the information about the how from, uh, pl from, from the specification of the product. Yeah? So it is able, but this product specification doesn't actually contain uh, detailed information on, on how, which motions to do and how exactly to do this, but just, it's just a digital twin of the product. And our robot can understand that and um, basically infer automatically how um, it will do this. It also um, computes optimal solutions in a sense. That means that the robot will do this as, as quickly as possible. It's um, already now it's possible that, that we um, Sorry. Um, it, already now it's possible that we automatically adapt machine parameters to changing situations. Um, um, 
and also our robot can, can correct faults without being explicitly told how to do this. Yeah. So for you as a business operator, self-optimizing machines will offer a huge number of advantages. So once a system is running an upgrade, an optimization or a retrofitting of um, the whole automation is still expert work. So um, this, ca this can be resolved um, when machines start to learn, to interpret their environment, and of course in um, defined limits to make their own decisions. With autonomous functions, you're able in both in engineering and in plant operation to make detailed work easier. That means that engineers and operators are able to, yeah, to make their plant smartly, that they can perform smartly, and those during the whole operation and during the whole optimization phase. And in the future, we will see whole factories orchestrating themselves. They control themselves. And this will be possible to autonomous systems. Uh, digitalization and AI, uh, artificial intelligence combined, really have the potential to boost automation to the next level. Um, and the systems will also get better and better by continuous um, um, optimization and, and self-learning, so to say. It will be possible to automate tasks that currently cannot be automated. And this will also generate uh, productivity gains that have been unthinkable um, as of now. The various aspects of artificial intelligence will reduce your effort for um, programming and development. And, and plants can be also be much more modular and reusable and flexible. And yeah, I think um, that means that you will, will be able to um, respond to the constantly changing um, demands that comes with the digital transformation and the high, higher complexity. So there are three ways how you can benefit from the systems that we already have um, based on artificial intelligence and, of course, even more based on artificial intelligence in the future. The, the first one is that you can improve your efficiency um, thanks to a greater machine availability and predictive maintenance. So remote analysis of a production facility can prevent um, outages or it can reduce the time you need for the troubleshooting. And this will only be possible in the future with edge computing combined with artificial intelligence. The second one is that you can improve your quality during your production um, with visual quality controls or um, the classification of very high complex part. That means um, this is an area where artificial intelligence will boost the automation and um, the automation is able to see like a human eye and yeah, not only to see, only to recognize what has to be done. And the third one, the third benefit for your industry is that you can improve your flexibility, the whole flexibility of your production. And this is possible with the agile and intelligent logic controls. So this makes it easy to implement changes um, in the environment and also in the production processes. So, for example, you can, um, you can, um, Manufacture. You, ca you can do a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can produce different type of products in only one single machine. That means with artificial intelligence, your machines will get more flexible. So you don't have to um, upgrade or retrofit your machines to produce different types of products. Yeah, but I'm wondering, so 
what happens in the next time or what happens in the future. So we're starting with um, the PLC programming. Then just we, we arrived in the time of um, engineering of the whole automation. And now and also in the future, you will benefit even more and more from the automation of the whole engineering. But I think it will be cool if we can automate the automation, Georg? Yeah, exactly. Um, the future of automation is the automation of automation. It sounds a little <laughs> weird, maybe. Um, but really, our vision and our goal is a completely self-orchestrating factory, which reacts flexibly and in real time on changing production demands and um, controls and optimizes it itself all the time. The self-organizing factory, if you want, is a logical extension of, of our robot prototype we show over there. And um, this will really be a revolution. There is nothing comparable on the market up to now. We calculate like this, digitalization, uh, sorry, automation plus digitalization plus, and that's important, artificial intelligence will give us autonomous systems that enable all of these things. Yeah, for me, that sounds like a fascinating and highly promising view into the future. But we talked a lot about autonomous systems working with artificial intelligence. And now I want to invite you to our future of automation area. You can see it um, on the very big LED screen on the right side. So, and um, yeah, we want to invite you to explore the future and to see how it's po already possible to integrate artificial intelligence in the, on the PLC. So, Yes, and, and also else? you can see the, the dual arm robot that we've been talking about live over there. And we are very much looking forward to show it to you and discuss these interesting opportunities.